Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. I'm Angel and this is Addison. And today is Wednesdays and on Wednesdays we wear pink. All of Addison's information will be right there so you guys know who she is and her artist and all that. Um, I haven't brought her on for quite a while but I wanted to get her up and she is just a stunning baby. Another baby with really beautiful rooted hair. Uh, just I love everything about it. She's got a beautiful seal. She's gorgeous. I'll show you guys when we get over to the table. But I just love this baby. I really do. I love her. I love all my babies. Yeah. She's so pretty. So I'll show you guys that when we get over there if you're new. So you get to see her. I'm trying to show some of the new ones. She does have a summer look. But we're going to put her in a vintage outfit. We're going to put her in a vintage outfit. And we're going to do pink for Wednesdays. We wear pink. All right. Let's go ahead and read God's word. This is all her stuff here. Her bunny, her bottle, her passy. And this will be the last video I'll do. And in this outfit, I pre-recorded and I pre-recorded five videos. I try to do five. And then uh, on Thursday, you'll see different. All right. So today um, we are on, let's see, I think the 28th. Let's see. Yep. We are on In His Hands, August 28th. And like I said, today's only the 23rd. But today is actually Wednesday for you guys. So happy Wednesday. And it's Wednesday for me when you guys see this. <laughs> It says, no man has power over the wind to contain it. So no one has power over the day of his death. Ecclesiastics 8.8. 8. Untimingly, our lives are in God's hands. Even the next breath you take is a gift from him. If he were to withdraw his hand from you, your life would end, despite the most uh, strenuous efforts of your doctors. The psalm, psalmist said it well. When you take away their breath, they die and return to dust. Psalms uh, 104.29. What difference should this make? First, it should remind us, <clears throat> sorry, remind us of our uh, dependence on God. All too often, we assume that our lives and our future are in our, in our own hands, but they aren't. They are in his hands. He gave us life, and someday he will bring our time on earth to an end. But this should also remind us that each day is a gift from God, a gift to be used wisely, <clears throat> joyfully, and for his glory. And it should remind us as well of an even greater gift, the gift of eternal life in Christ. Amen. Thank God for the gift of today and the gift of eternal life that awaits us in heaven. Wow, I really love that, you guys. And we have to remember that every breath that we take, if you wake up, if you woke up this morning, and I did, thank you, God, for waking me. We need to thank him for giving us another day because he is in control. We're in his hands. He has control when I, you know, our time is up. When it's done and said, he, you know, he's going to take us home. That's what it is, or wherever we're going. If we don't believe, well, then we're not going home. We won't have eternal life. But we need to remember that. So every breath that we take, thank God for that breath. Thank God for that day. Thank him for a roof, food, clothes, and a bed. Thank him for everything that he gives us because it's all a gift of God. It truly is. And then thank him for eternal life. Because when our life is over, it's not truly over. We're then going to live on for eternity in glory land. The best thing that we could ever experience. No, no more pain, sorrow, hurt, nothing. Nobody fighting anymore. It's going to be done. When we leave and go to heaven, we get eternal life. So don't worry when your time is up. I know we all think about like death and all that, but you know what? If you have your salvation and you know where you're going, we wouldn't worry so much. Maybe how you're going to die, but we wouldn't worry if we know where we're going. So I don't worry about that because I know where I'm going. Sometimes I question it, but I know where I'm going. When I read that the other day, I know where I'm going. So we shouldn't worry about our death because that's eternal life then. we would If we got a chance to go to heaven and then have to come back, we wouldn't want to. I know I've seen a movie on that, and it was based on a true story. Uh, somebody clinically died and came back, but got to go to heaven and experience it and didn't want to be here. Did not want to be here, but God said your time wasn't up yet. It wasn't up yet. So that has happened. People have been you know, clinically dead and then come back, and they got to experience that. Some people have so they can talk about it, but you know, um, because sometimes the heart will come back. The heart will start beating again because God said, nope. I'm not done with you yet. You still have something to do. You still have some, some things to do. So remember that. But one day he is going to take us home and every breath that you breathe is a gift from God. It truly is. Whether you're walking with God or not, he's got the whole world in his hands. 
Like I said, nobody was born accidentally that I read yesterday. So we have to remember that, that he holds us in his hand and he can take it anytime he wants. He can take that life. And hopefully you got your salvation and you know where you're going, that you're going to heaven and not a place called hell, eternal death. We don't want that. We want eternal life. Get right today. Wisdom for today. You know the number of our days, Lord. Teach us to number them as well and to live each day to your glory. Yes, to his glory. May we not waste a single moment in our moment in our anger or bitterness, but instead embrace every opportunity to love others. Amen to that. I love you all. Mwah, I do. We need to love each other. We do. We need to embrace each day that God gives us. I always say, God, if I wake up tomorrow, help me to be productive in my day and help me to honor you in every way. And I do say that to God. I do ask him and I thank him. Not every day do I thank him and I feel bad for that, but I need to you know, thank him every day when I wake up. Thank you, God, for that day. But at night, I'll say, if I do get another day, thank you. And please let me do everything in your honor and glory and to be productive in my day because God loves a, a, a you know, hardworking person. Those that work hard will prosper. And we need to remember that. And I do work hard. Oh, I work hard. I really do. I'm exhausted right now. Not just making videos, just everything that I do. I work really hard. But all right, you guys, I love you very much. Um, I love you very much. What am I doing? I do love you very much. We're going to get over the table with Addison and get her into her pink. Let's get over there. All right, you guys, we're back here at the changing table with Addison. And I am definitely getting tired because I forgot to say... Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. We want to read it, study, honor, obey, and live by it. And I don't think that I said that. And if I did already, well, I doubled it. But I don't think I did. I'm just really exhausted, you guys. Very exhausted. I need a break this weekend. So uh, hopefully I will have a nice break. All right, now on to Addison. Look at how gorgeous she is, you guys. She's a really good-sized baby, too. The Timothy is a really good-sized baby. It is definitely a zero to three month. So let me show you what Addison is going into for Wednesdays. We wear pink. And again, I didn't put this on a hanger. I like to have them on hangers and I forgot. I, I'm really out of it, you guys. I'm out of it. So we're putting her in a vintage dress. This came in that box of vintage stuff. My husband found I'm just in front of somebody's house. It said free and he brought it home and it was all vintage. So I really got, you know, I really lucked out and it was like all different sizes too. But look at this beautiful dress. Now, because she is a cloth body, I am going to leave the onesie on. But it's white at the top, and it's got this big, poofy bottom that's pink with, uh, like, tulle. And it's got these beautiful embroidered flowers on it that are pink and green. It's got green leaves. And then it's got the next layer is, like, just silky. And then underneath is a onesie. So she doesn't even need the bloomers because it's got the built-in onesie underneath. But isn't this cute? And the brand on it... Here's the brand. I do believe this is a vintage. If it's not, I'm sorry, you guys, but it was in that box of vintage stuff, and I do believe it's vintage. I do. I'm trying to remember, but it was in that box. Like I said, it's definitely, I do believe it's vintage. If it's not, somebody correct me, but I do believe it is. Um, but it definitely, you know, looks like it. But if not, I could be completely wrong. Like I said, when I look at the tag now, I'm not sure by that name there. Right there, I'll show you guys up close. So you can just, you can tell me if it's vintage. But like I said, it was in that box of vintage clothing, so I'm assuming it is. If not, well, it's still really cute, and it's going to look cute on her. And then the collar itself is also silky, like underneath the, the tulle. Underneath it, it's very silky here, and it's pink. So she's going to wear that, and we're going to pair it with this pink headband and these cute little shoes. Look at the shoes with the, the pink rainbow. It's got the pink inside. They're silver, but it's got the pink on it, so it's going to look really cute. I thought it did when I put it together. It looks really cute together. And then we're just going to keep her barefoot, though. We're going to do it barefoot. Instead of putting any socks or anything, we're going to do it barefoot for her. Barefoot. All right, we're going to take her bunny. This came with her in her box opening. I got her through Amanda. Um, I don't know if it was her baby or... Yeah, I think it was one of hers out of her collection. Here's the nook I made for her. That's really cute. And this was one of the outfits she sent with it. It says, Daddy's Girl. This is a really cute outfit. So let's change and show everybody your beautiful art. The reason I'm showing this, you guys, is because I get a lot of new subscribers. So I like to at least just share, um, you know, like the art and everything on the babies because I'm always getting new people. So it's always nice to share uh, the sculpt of the baby, who you got it from, you know, just different things like that and information that you know and all that on it. And then, um, of course, show the baby, too, because look at that. Look at her hair. She has got some beautiful hair. And yes, it's messy. And again, it reminds me a lot of the hair that I use. It's very soft, very nice. 
Um, I'm trying to compare it to the hair that I use that I root with. A lot of these uh, babies that I get, it really feels similar to the hair that I use. So it doesn't have to be the exact uh, brand or, you know, where I get the hair through, but it does feel like it. And I love it. I mean, it gets messy. It looks, you know, sometimes it can look frizzy, but it is mohair. And, and you know, mohair softens as it goes along. But anyways, here she is, Addison. Let me show you her. And then, of course, I'm going to be combing that messy hair. But look at how cute she is. Look at those lips. I love her lips. So cute. She's got a cute expression. And then she's got rooted lashes, very lightly done eyebrows because her hair is a very light, light you know, lighter brown. She's got all that mottling. Look at that mottling and the little tiny milk blisters on her. I mean, the little um, baby pimples or whatever you call them, if you can see that on there, on her. Look at the veining in there. Look at the mottling. Look at her hand. Look at how beautiful that is. She's got the uh, moons too on her. I'm gonna make sure this is done. Oh, you can see it. Look at the moons done on her too. She is gorgeous, you guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous baby. She really is. Beautiful mottling on her. Look at this. Stunning baby, even on her feet. Look at that mottling. Look at that veining. Wow, she's so pretty. I, I always forget how pretty these babies are because I haven't seen her for a while. But love this baby. I do. <clears throat> I know Belinda over at uh, Belinda's Babies, I believe it is. She has a Timothy. And hers was done through End Love with Reborns. And I can't remember the name of that baby. I'm sorry. I can't remember what she calls that baby. But um, I'll stick it up on the screen here if I get a chance to, um, you know, go back because I edit all these videos. But anyways, there she is. And we're going to get her dressed. Yes, Addison, we're going to get you dressed, sweet girl, and then comb up that messy hair. But yeah, it was. I like that this had a built-in uh, onesie. And like I said, it was in the box of vintage stuff. <clears throat> By gosh, I have a frog in my throat. Wow. <clears throat> Sorry. I was in a box of that vintage stuff. You can also tell I'm very tired. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's, and don't worry, ladies, when I say I'm tired, don't think that you can't send me babies. I'm just tired because I've been working really hard and um, making all these videos and stuff like that and just been working hard. And I just got done rooting for like three days straight, long hours. And yesterday was the longest that I rooted because I wanted to get um, that baby done. Um, she's already would have been shipped home by now. Because, of course, these are pre-recorded videos. But by the time you see this, she would have already been shipped home. Maybe even home by then because it would have been three days. Because I'm shipping her on um, Monday. And today would be Wednesday for you guys. So we're going to button up the back here. But, yeah. So don't think, guys, that I can't handle doing this work. I can. But we all get tired, right? We all work jobs and we get tired. And we're entitled to be tired. <laughs> and then the very next day, I was doing all these videos here. So I just, because I want a nice free weekend, and then I'm going to get started on the other uh, baby, uh, Freya, and then after that, Lucy. And then um, I know somebody had asked me about some work. Um, they had a baby they wanted me to do, um, I think, combi hair on a partial silicone. So I think it's just the head she wants done, and she just wants combi hair. So, oh my gosh, look at how cute this is on her. I didn't even look at the size of this on this outfit. I thought it said six months on it, but she wears like three to six. So I knew it was going to be a little bit big on her, but oh my gosh, I think it fits her good. Yeah, it fits her nice. Very cute. And like I said, I want the onesie just to show because it's white and white, so you can't tell then. But isn't that adorable? Look at how pretty she is. Yeah, she's very pretty. You can just kind of tuck it in like that. But she looks adorable. So let's get her little shoes on. But yeah, I don't want you guys to think, oh, I can't send Angel any work. She's so tired. No, 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 you guys. I'm tired just from a lot of things. I do all kinds of stuff that makes me tired especially like my videos and stuff. But I love what I do and I, you know, am very happy to do work for you guys. So if you got babies or are waiting to get a, a baby through me, I'm going to have one coming up here in a couple weeks, just getting these babies done and home. And then I will start working on, you know, I'm trying to do some in between, but it's a little bit hard to do, but I'm trying to get them done and then get them home. And then I'll be working on a couple for sale. Let me just go like this because I want to do her hair and I don't want her to get out of frame. Look at how cute that is. Adorable. All right, let's do her hair so we can put her headband on. So yeah, I hope you guys, like I said, are enjoying your day, enjoying your Wednesday. Are you doing your baby in pink too? Oh my gosh, this baby's got amazing hair too. It's got that really amazing swirl. So I'm gonna try to incorporate that swirl here. For her she's got just such baby fine gorgeous hair see when you get it wet and you do it then it's like you, it just it's just stunning it really is it really is stunning hair so um you know these mole hairs that are out there and some are better than others you know i'm not saying that mine is the best or anything like that i'm just saying that a lot of these kind of feel like mine it does so um and yet it's so pretty you know and this 
This one here could be a little bit more of an expensive one. I mean, I don't use inexpensive. I'm kind of medium for the hair I use, um, you know, for you guys. But if somebody requested a more expensive hair, I definitely would use a more expensive one. It's just the one that I do on the, you know, on the babies. Um, but if you wanted a more expensive one, I definitely could do that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Adorable. Oh my gosh, so cute. So, so cute. Let me just bring a little bit more bangs down for her. Only because she's a girl. So I want to give her that, that girl look, you know. Sometimes you can make babies look more boy. And then get that wetness out of there. Say, Mommy, Dad really got wet. Then we'll put the cute headband on her. Oh my goodness. Addison, stop it. You're too cute. Too cute. And she's sealed really good with that um, seal that everybody loves. Look at her. Isn't she so pretty? Oh, she's adorable. So perfect for Wednesdays we wear pink. She really is a gorgeous baby. Oh, I love that on her. She's so pretty. We'll draw in a little bit more now. She's beautiful. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, I hope you guys are having a good two, uh, Wednesday um, and uh, enjoying hump day. Today is hump day, midweek. And uh, by the time we get here, it'll be midweek. Let's see what she looks like with the pink pacifier. Aw, adorable. She's so adorable. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a nice Wednesday and I hope you guys are having a great week. Hope everything is going good for you. Um, enjoy your week. Everybody just make sure to be, you know, being kind to everybody. Have fun with your babies. Enjoy your collection. Enjoy and have fun with everything. And, um, you know, tag people. Do their tags. Um, you know, let's, let's be a great community together because there's just too much fighting out there. Let's be good to everybody. So I got a special one tomorrow that I'm going to start for Thursdays. Um, I hope you guys will join in on it that I'm going to actually start up. And I hope you guys will join it. So be looking for that. And other than that, Addison is going to blow you a kiss. Mwah! She loves all her aunties and uncles, grandmas and grandpas out there, and all of her little cousins. I love you guys as well. Mwah! I'm exhausted. I'm so glad this was the last video. Who loves you the most, though? God. God loves you the most. He does. Let's honor him in every way we can and thank him every day for that blessed day he gives us. If you wake up and you're still breathing, thank him for it. All right, you guys, now I can rest. I'm going to take a few photos of her, and then I'm going to rest for the rest of the weekend. Everybody have, well, <laughs> for my weekend, because right now it is only the 23rd, Friday the 23rd, so I'm going to rest for the weekend. But by the time you guys get this one, I would have gotten some great rest, and I would have already been starting on Freya for Emma. All right, I love you guys. Everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.